Brandon. Um, I'm a creative director and conceptual strategist. This is my home and that's my cat. <laughs> we used to have a magazine called Big Man and the idea behind the magazine was that we would use people who had lives other than sort of fashion modeling to model the clothes and so Dustin was one of our subjects and we went over to his place, dressed him in a few things and had him scrambling around his, uh, his loft showing us his work and, and he had like a sort of gallery space up top and he would like swing his way up a rope to get, to get up there like, a, like Tarzan. If he had to get from here to there, he'd climb up a rope rather than go up a set of stairs. He's always been a pioneer, he's pioneering in his techniques, you know, he's pioneering in the way he's moved from Broadway out to these ever increasingly enormous spaces in Red Hook and, and in the sense of what he's trying to do with this idea of community building and gallery building and he's opening them up to other artists and, and showing their work through that. Artists don't often become gallerists, he's definitely a futurist. first met you and I first started to see pieces like this there were um, these very precise evocations of nature sort of encapsulated and now there are these enormous fantasia how did that evolution happen accidentally I mean yeah. making drawings and paintings on canvas I saw an optical quality in the resin mm. that I was pouring on top of the canvases so I started to take the, the actual objects out and make mm. these drawings I drew something that looked alive, that looked biological, yeah. that looked like it was preserved in amber. Then for years I, I got caught up in this idea that I could sort of create this realism that was more real than even real. Right. And it's kind of like making an antiquated version of the future where everything, all your movies are 3D. Yeah. Everything's 3D and here I'm just interested in making static 3D, yeah. out of 2D marks. Well, actually, I've always thought one of the most thrilling things about your pieces is the way that you can walk around them and they disappear from the side because mm -hmm. they are obviously these layers. I like the idea of a lot of artists coming together yeah. and you know working on projects and also just feeding off of the energy of each other mm -hmm. and working on their own projects. Mm -hmm. So the idea of having a project space that shows work, mm. but then also for the people who are there to be able to go and see this person and this yeah. person and that person all making work, that's what turns me on more than sure. anything. I was hallucinating in, in this little Caribbean island last, <laughs> last week, and uh, I was sitting there and I, you know, I like had this sort of breakdown. I called up the studio, I was like, give away all the art. <laughs> Literally, I, I, I wanted to get rid of every everything. single thing in the studio that I'd made up till now so that I could start scratch. Right. And I wanted all my friends to have it. And yeah. I was like, the work's so expensive now, I can't even afford it. My friends can't afford it. And I was like, just give it give all it away. away. I don't want it. Thanks. But uh, but that idea, like, I just, the commodity and the commerce mm. drives me crazy. Well, how do you get past that? I mean, being an artist and, and you know, I'm hoping to find the... people that I trust yeah. to hold that part. Yeah. So that I can really just be in the dreamland yeah. that I signed up for. 